Hi everyone. Today our topic is to discuss quick comparison between application implementation methodology AIM versus Oracle Unified methodology. So let's quickly go through. OUM replaces the AIM. Oracle introduced a new methodology in January 2011 with the name of OUM. So what was OUM? OUM is a single implementation methodology designed to be used for all Oracle product implementations. And now it's become Oracle standard based method that will cover entire enterprise information technology life cycle within the organization. OUM supports Oracle based business solutions including SOA, service oriented architecture, business process management, BPM, enterprise integration, custom software, enterprise security, business intelligence, web center, enterprise application implementation like Oracle EBS, JD Edward, Siebel, CR, cloud application service implementation like SaaS application software as a service, then software upgrades which we used to do from 11i release to release 12 or any version, upgrades between different products. OUM focus areas are primarily three manage innovation and implementation now the manage provides tools and techniques to manage the project innovation deals with development and maintenance of enterprise level IT strategy like architecture and governance for overall project then actual implementation it provides a framework to develop and implement oracle based solutions on any product product line and precise development and some time for a rapid deployment based on some business accelerators. OUM focus areas, you can see these pictures are taken from the standard Oracle OUM methodology. So how Invasion, Manage and Implement are clubbed together within this methodology. OUM phases, these are the OUM phases comparison to you can see it inception, elaboration, construction, transition, production. These are phases introduced on OUM and then on the left side you can see different different within that project management, business requirement, requirement analysis. Now if you will compare with Oracle AIM, Earlier, we were used to do definition, operations analysis, solution design, build, transition, production, and then other area like require process architecture, requirement definition, and requirements mapping. Now you can see the difference between both methodologies that OUM changed the entire phases names. And then in within phase, what are the different actions tasks which we are going to do it? And here you can see in the AM phase. Now we'll go quickly run through the key differentiator between in within OUM that is very important whenever we are using any Oracle eBusiness Suite project. Now OUM gives you an implementation view that is requirements driven application implementation. So if we want to do some project which is mainly based on requirement driven like e-business suite product or people soft enterprise and it will be based on like identifying requirements early in the project through interviews, process modeling workshops and crafting a business solution based on those requirements. So this strategy leads more requirements, more customization because this is giving an opportunity to users that they can give you whatever the requirement they have in, in their mind. But if you're using like commercial off the shelf products, e-business suite, then we need to think about it that, okay, what are the requirements which we can take it up as an implementation scope. Now, another view which OUM introduced that is solution driven application implementation. Now that is our call what we are going to choose it now in the solution driven application approach what we are going to use is we will leverage predefined business solutions like oracle business accelerators and the proposed business solutions that will be tailoring the solution to the client specific requirement so in this strategy we will think we will draft our requirement we will interview the user based on the solution which 
is already available or tailored based on business accelerators and then we will start question answer with the end users so these are two fundamental differences between two two strategies while you will be using oum now another one if we are going to do an upgrade from release 11i to release 12 or from 12.1.3 to 12.2.24 so what we can do we can use the software upgrade methodology views what it will give you it will covers all middleware database enterprise application products business intelligence and this approach will be used for upgrading any existing versions to the latest version and it will give a very custom extensions documents that we can use within the software upgrade project now these i see it commonly use three views there are other views available for cloud applications for web center for service oriented architecture for ppm products so but i'm i'm covering only these three views here then the major difference which we saw in the OGM was we used to say rice components so rice earlier we were talking when rice that was rice main reports interfaces conversion extensions or enhancements so what does it mean that whenever we are doing any EBS implementation we used to talk on the rice areas that okay these are the customizations which we are getting as a requirement from the users and we need to deliver it now rice translated rice future is camely cmli which we use to say is configuration customizations extensions modifications localization integration so that stand as cem unlike camly objects so this will cover our all customization within the e-business suite implementation this was another major term changed in OUM. then the key area which is challenge for any of functional consultant or technical consultant or a project manager who is managing oracle ebs implementations on large scale or large footprint like because we all very well versed with the old document names and we used to say these document names in our different steering committees or in project review meetings like everybody was aware about it, what is BPAT document, future process model, or what is RD20 document like conductor front business baseline, or what is BR100 document, define application setup. So what I have done in this slide is I have taken up AIM task ID, then AIM task name versus OUM task ID versus OUM task name. So you can see BPAT develop future process model converts to RD011 12 future process model. Then you can see another is RD20 conduct current business baselines goes to RD034 document current business baseline metrics. Same way BR100 documents goes to another three documents which are define business data structures, gather setup information, define application setups same way on the te40 which we used to develop a document develop system test scripts translated or another new name in OUM task id is te025 create system test scenarios then rd15 gather business requirements goes to develop use case model develop use case details and you can see md50 documents like create application extensions and interface function design goes to different documents like AN050, AN060, 7070, AN090 until AN100. It starts analyze data, analyze behavior, analyze business rules, analyze user interface and prepare analysis specification. So one document converts to number of another documents. Same way on the MD70 document which define application setups goes to DS060 define business rules implementation strategy you can see on the amd 70 side that number of documents are also introduced on the 
OUM level. Then another was we used to publish is DO060 published user reference manual. That's the same. They kept it for user perspective. And then DO080 published technical reference manual is also equal to DO020. So these are common documents which I have taken up here. There are a number of other documents, 200 plus, are introduced over UM that you can go and you can review it. But in this presentation, I thought let's quickly review the most important or mandatory documents which we use to develop in any implementation project. Now, for reference purpose, you can go through this link and you can find out more details about Oracle Unified Methodology. Our next call to action items are review OUM today, start using in your next project, and if you'll face any issue, you can let us know. And after this presentation, I will go through you actual OUM which I have already in my system. So I will run through you the as a project manager, what are the different phases which we need to take care and templates we need to take it. Thank you very much. Let's go back to our Oracle OUM and here we will go Oracle OUM method 6.2 which I have but 6.3 is already in released. So I will go as a project manager. Here you can see these are views are available and then templates are available. In templates if you will see there is manage template by process, invasion template by process and implement templates by process. So let's first review implement templates by process. If you will go here you can see that all the templates, business requirements, RD001, starting all the Word documents you can see, you can find out from here. Business requirements, requirements analysis, then map, mapping and configuration, analysis, design, implementation, testing, performance management, technical architecture, data acquisition and conversion, documentation, organizational change management, training, transition. So these are common documents all the documents available in the implementation template. Now we'll go back and we, you can see if you want to see an invasion template by process. Here you can see an invasion roadmap, enterprise business analysis, and then organizational change management, and then enterprise architecture, IT portfolio management, governance. So same way if we'll go back and we can manage templates by process, allow blocked content. These are Prior to project start like bid transition, scope management, financial management, work management, risk management, issue and problem management. So these are our templates available from OGM. So you don't need to go here and there or on any other guideline where you want to search out. Staff management, communication management, quality, configuration, infrastructure management, procurement management. So these are all documents aligned as per TMI standards. So with this, I think you can go through in detail after installing this one. There are another very detailed views are available, which you can put some efforts and learn it. Thank you very much for joining this session and hope, to see, hope I will see you in the next session.